Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA, coming to you from Virtual Metro Connect 2021. Joining me today, my good friend, Jim Capuano, President and CEO of Horizon. Jim, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you for having me. Oh, we're so excited and it's a big day. Let's get right to it. First off, can you please tell our viewers just a little bit about Horizon? Sure, sure. So Horizon is a facilities-based service provider in uh, uh, the Midwestern United States, primarily in Ohio and Indiana. Um, we provide uh, services to uh, like the full spectrum of customers, if you will. I would say uh, from uh, large enterprise to all the way down through to residential services. Um, we also support healthcare and uh, ed education. So pretty much the full gamut of uh, customer segments. And you have breaking news on the virtual Metro Connect floor today. Uh, um, we do. The acquisition <laughs> of another fiber network. Tell us more, I don't wanna spoil it. Right, all right. Well, it, obviously this is a JSA TV exclusive then, right? <laughs> <laughs> so yes, we, we do. We, we've, uh, we're announcing that we've acquired Infinity Fiber of Indiana. So we're pretty excited about this acquisition. Um, Infinity Fiber was originally designed uh, to uh, interconnect the data centers throughout Indiana. And you know, we see a great opportunity, obviously, just to in that, that alone to expand. Um, but it also is incredibly complementary to our existing network uh, of assets. Uh, you know, primarily today we have a uh, uh, pretty uh, significant fiber presence in the Indianapolis uh, market. So this will actually provide connectivity from there um, all the way up through uh, Northern uh, Indiana um, and across uh, into probably the other big news there is uh, East Saramac. So we'll, it will give us connectivity into, I guess, what I would call one of the nation's most important data centers as well. Oh yeah, very exciting. I can see how complementary the, the networks are. And of course, this is right in line with your aggressive strategy for expansion uh, in the Midwest. So well done, super Thank exciting you. news. Um, also, I know you have continued growth planned in both rural and metro markets in Ohio and Indiana. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit more. Yeah, so, uh, you know, we've, uh, you know, obviously with that, it gives us the, uh, you know, that the connectivity that we just spoke of, but I think it also opens up the door to additional metro markets throughout the region. Um, you know, similar to the ones that we service today, you know, if you will, uh, you know, the Columbus and Indianapolis network, but also the Dayton's and Cincinnati's of the world um, that we have access to today, you know, we'll look for similar markets to continue to expand into. Um, but I think the, you know, the other area that we're, we're, spending a, a lot of capital and, and, uh, and effort is in the residential markets. So we're doing a significant fiber of the home, uh, Greenfield fiber of the home build um, in Circleville, Ohio today. Um, and we see that as like the first of many, uh, you know, we already have a, a plan to complete this one this fall, but also kick off at least another five uh, this year as well. And so we're talking 100% pure fiber optic networks, of course, um, and, and unbelievable access, particularly uh, in uh, Ohio, Indiana, that Midwest region that's so so critical. Can you tell our, our viewers who might not already know what makes Horizon so unique? Right, well, I mean, obviously uh, part of the uniqueness is the fact that we actually do support services into all of these different customer segments. Um, so I guess, you know, in, uh, in terms, it's a lot, right? We, we have a lot of different, uh, different focuses, if you will. But I think that, you know, when you look at uh, each of them, um, customer service is always, you know, the kind of the, the piece that we speak of that, you know, is kind of the foundation to all of it. But I think the other piece that uh, that is important to us, and maybe it's, you know, because of my background in operations, that, uh, you know, the network and the, uh, you know, the, the components that make up the network are just as important, you know, best customer service is no customer service calls, right? So uh, I think that when you look at the different segments, they all have a little bit of a different need. You know, we're looking at customers that are looking for mission critical networks. Um, you know, they're looking for more consultative support on the front end. You know, it's very engineering centric. It, there's a lot of work that goes into, you know, the pre-sale. And then on the back end of that, you know, they're looking for reporting and, and uh, additional support. But I think the residential markets is really, the other uh, one is that we use technology there to, to, to uh, be unique as well. 
Um, today, in a, the markets that we've uh, where we're deploying fiber, uh, you know, we're already trying to support uh, the gig plus, if you will. You know, we believe that the gig standard is, you know, the symmetrical gig standard, I should say, is is uh, is a real thing. But the future is going to be gig plus. So how do you get, you know, make sure that you have a network prepared to do that? So I think we're we're you know we're well versed by one making sure that we have direct connectivity wherever possible to customers, um, and then you know providing a more of a uh, dedicated internet access service as opposed to a best effort product. Um, I think that the one thing that come out, that has come out of the pandemic that uh, might actually help our industry is, uh, especially in residential services, people can actually see the quality of their bandwidth for once. So I don't I think the, the average consumer now understands that when we say that you know. Uh, why why it symmetrical bandwidth matters, you know, they can see it in their video conferencing and so forth. So, you know, if, if any one good thing came out of the, 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 uh, the pandemic, it would be, you know, the, the, uh, the understanding of the quality of the services that they receive now. Yeah, well said, well said. And so looking at 2021 and beyond, what can we expect from Horizon? Right. Well, we already uh, spoke about the plans to leverage the uh, Infinity acquisition. Um, and we'll look to use that also to expand into other metro markets, uh, similar to the ones that we're in today. You know, uh, maybe that look a lot like uh, Columbus or Indianapolis, and Cincinnati, Dayton. Uh, you know, metro markets that we have uh, access into today. To today, um, but I would also say that we're uh, we're always looking for additional uh, tuck-ins, if you will. You know, acquisitions that that give us kind of a, a you know a, a leap forward, if you will, in deployment. But maybe the most important piece is uh, that we're working on right now is our fiber to the home uh, expansion. So uh, today we've, uh, we're working on uh, a greenfield build in uh, Circleville, Ohio, which is a, a community just south of Columbus that we expect to complete uh, sometime in the fall. Um, but we've already queued up um, at least another five markets uh, that we'll launch this year. So exciting. So many amazing headlines uh, still to come even, not just today, uh, for Horizon. So for our viewers who want to learn more, where can they go? Yeah, you can go to our website at uh, horizonconnects.com. Horizonconnects.com. Thank you, Jim, so much for your time as always. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, our special virtual Metro Connect 2021 edition. Happy networking. Mm -hmm.